local warning is intended for Franklin County, Clinton County. Hello, everyone. I'm Double J. And welcome to Vain, the demo. This is, well, another zombie survival game. That's uh, looking pretty good so far. But then again, I'm kind of biased because any game, any survival game that gives me vehicles, I kind of lean towards liking. So I want to check this out. I've played a little bit of it just to kind of get the feel for it. And now we're going to kick it off. So as always, I will leave links and details in the description below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like by the end. Without further ado, let's start a new game. We're going to take this and click that off. And everything else we're leaving set. All right, here we go. We've got double J, right? And male character. You can do a lot of customization in this game. There's a lot of options. Like we've got body type. Skin type. <laughs> saturated or desaturated, lighter, darker, uh, eye color, and it, it just gets it just gets more and more as we go. Uh I don't see the sun very much. You need sunglasses to look at my my legs and shorts. Uh pretty much like that. <laughs> well, we'll just go with that. Brown eyes and then hair. Bangs, no. We have just Gold brooding. <laughs> um, zoom? No, no zoom for me. I mean, I wish I had like just like a little bit of a buzz cut. Not bald, but we'll go bald because that's the closest to buzz cut. Um. Big moustache, long beard, small moustache. Let's go with uh, let's go with the old goat. And then, I mean, look at this. <laughs> the abilities will be gonna, are going to be ridiculous here, and you can save and copy uh, your design uh, body. Well, <laughs> we'll put it there. All right. And here's what's kind of fun is you can start like, uh, what do we got with stats? So tag three stats to specialize in. This grants character initial bonus. So we get three like free stats to go with. So we could do stamina and some of these aren't implemented because it's still a demo and they're working on it. It's a work in progress. So uh, if there's anything that looks wrong or any bugs that we run across, that's all part of the game of playing this while it's still being worked on. Ability to take things apart, your ability to operate vehicle. I want that because I, 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 one of the biggest pushers for this is the fact that you can get vehicles, different vehicles. That always is something I like. Uh, hot wiring. Okay. Um, well, then we don't need driving. I thought hot wiring was driving. No. Your immune system strength, lock picking. I like lock picking. Ability to fix mechanical issues, your eye for valuable resources. Your weightlifting capacity, melee damage, and oh, we're going strength. That's how we're sitting. That's what we're going to sit with lock picking, strength, and hot wiring. And then. Another cool thing, like you get to pick an occupation that gives you more aspect bonuses. Like, oh, you're an athlete. And notice the background. That's another cool little detail. Uh, so you get plus 10 to throwing, plus 10 to agility, plus five immunity. You'd be a banker, chef. <laughs> Love the things change. College student, conspiracy theorist. <laughs> That's plus 25 scavenging. That's that wouldn't be bad. Construction worker. <laughs> um, 
construction, dismantling, crafting, a courier, driving, agility, strength, throwing, craftsperson, 25 crafting, demolition, derby driver, you driving, vitality, and mechanic, doctor, drug dealer, electrical, hot wire. Oh, it could be electrician. I give you hot wiring, a boost to hot wiring. I struggle with hot wiring in my first play, uh, my test playing. It took me like 10, 10 or 15 tries to get a car hot wired. And it keeps, it damages you and the car every time you fail a hot wire. So not a whole lot, but I mean, you don't want to keep doing it and doing it and doing it like that. Firefighter, game developer. That's repair, hot wiring, mechanical and electrical. That might be good. Immunity, vitality, scavenging. Mm. Laborer. Plus 25 to strength. That's strength is good. Strength is melee damage. Park Ranger, police officer. Looks like they haven't gotten through doing all the details and all of them yet. Unemployed. Unprepared. <laughs> um, what was it I was looking at? Laborer. Let's do laborer. And this next one. If you really want to fine tune your game and add a little challenge to yourself, which I think we're going to skip for this first run, but you can do like your character can't smell anything. Cause one of the things is, is you pick up a bottle, you could smell it and it'll be like, it smells like gas or it smells like uh, vinegar or et cetera, et cetera. Um, the only way to reduce stress is killing things. Eating cooked foods causes stress. Junk food has no debuffs. You know, instead of causing panic, driving very fast causes excitement. Your character has an insulin deficiency. <laughs> you know, being near electronics causes psychological discomfort. Your character can't digest lactose-based foods. You need glasses to see clearly. Like, there's a lot of very unique things here. Your character gets stressed from hunting animals and eating animal products. Um... Your character is allergic to peanuts. Your character sunburns more easily. So, yeah, we're just going to let it ride the way it rides. Um, and we're going to go with uh, Saranac. Often mistaken for Saranac Lake, New York. This small, elongated town is home to numerous small businesses and government buildings. Its schools... The district largest emerged as primary refuge for locals in the region when the apocalypse struck the valley. So let's go. Let's get this started. All right, here we go. We're pleasant and warm. 5.46 p.m. We'll get to a oh, new spawn location. So it's random, huh? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. We got cop cars. News van? Is that delivery van or a SWAT van? Hard to tell. So we'll search. <laughs> really? <laughs> but it's agility. Uh, and that's repair. Uh, and cell phone is your map, actually. And see, this has got battery percentage, like 5% on this battery. So I'm not going to bother with it. We will take that, though. And lockpicks, yes. Thank you. Um, No, I did not want to ready my fists. Slice of bread. I mean, it's food, right? Uh, jewelry scrap. Oh, actually, what's in the parcel? I just realized you can open parcels. So we'll do that in a minute. Ooh, more lockpicks. Oh, yeah, we... We landed in the lockpick heaven up in here. Scissors, we'll take those. What else do we got? No, we don't want to sit in the chair. We want to check the desk. Oh, hello. We got a couple magazines and some rounds. Julius Cr and a Flock 17 already? Holy cow. That's right off the bat. Heck yeah. Oh, man. 
Hall, yes. We have, well, this is a hall, isn't it? Heck yeah. All about that. And lockpicks galore. Scissors, some scrap. What else? A full folder. Scrap. Oh my goodness gracious. This was a great starting spot. Before we do anything, I should uh, probably put put these in uh, put these in a quick use slot. So that'll be two. Make sure she's topped off. Three. Make sure that's topped off. And then one, we got a... That's not a sledgehammer. That's a tiny hammer. That's an itty bitty baby hammer. That's not a sledgehammer. <laughs> Remove light bulb. Search the trash for a pizza crust and an onion half. And then we also have... Uh, so we've got our equipment here, our medical. So you need to eat food to survive and you need to drink to survive. So peckish and slightly thirsty. We have our stats. And then our character, which unknown blood type, I guess. <laughs> All right, orange wedge, watermelon rind. I mean, eh. if you're starving, you're starving, right? All right, what do we got now? We're Whoa. Yeah, when I first started, I started in like this house on my test game. Yeah, is this this house or this house? One of these two. I remember there was an RV on one of these and then a Jeep over here. And there's like an animal shelter here. And that's as far as I got was this corner. So now we're here. Okay. We're like in town. It spawns us like in town. Let's let's go out this way. And one thing about these zombies, they're freaking silent when they're coming up on you. I got jump scared so many times by them. Cause you'd be doing something and then boom, they'll be right there on you. You won't hear them coming. They don't announce themselves. They're just there. And that's terrifying. So, I'm curious, like, is there, yeah, there's a trunk on this. There's trunk on all vehicles, but uh, nothing in this. Nothing. I wonder if there is actually stuff in the trunks to start with, or if they're just all empty for you to use. Oh, I could just actually use the back doors on these. Oh, interesting. Now, what would be in here? Wow, I don't know what it is about this area. Maybe all the the plethora of cars around here, but it is hating this area. All right, let's uh, not do that. I don't know why they didn't come running. Uh, put that away. Let's lock back here. No, uh, come on. Boom. Oh, just one door opened. Not both of them, just the one. <laughs> All right, anybody in here? No. All right. What do we got? Nothing. Any health medical t shirt? Oh, duh. I thought maybe they meant like <laughs> it was. Medicinal in its in itself, not like, <laughs> not like a medical uh, 
personnel t-shirt. Oh, we can sleep here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now we're getting some health stuff. What did I need? Did I need any of those? We have antidepressants. Use antidepressants. There we go. Use antidepressants. What do we want to drive? That's my question. I want to go check this big box truck over here to the left. But there's Zambonis over there. I could turn the generator off. Are you guys deaf? I gotta swear, last time I used the gun, like, they started walking towards me from every angle. So. Oh, so you can actually come inside. Let's see how we do with this. Okay, it's it's got some boom to it. So you can actually get inside and then open it up. Hmm, I might, I might want that. Um, okay, let's insert a key and turn it on. We got 57% in the tank. We do got like a little SUV right there. We got a pickup over there, but I like the fact that you can like get in the back and then get into the trunk. So that's where we were. I'm gonna turn it off real quick because gas is a thing. I just wanna see something real quick. Oh, shit, you scared me. Town Hall. I just wanted to see where it actually was that we were. Let's try and take some of these guys out if we can. Oh, my swing timing was all off. Like, I click and it took a second before it, like, wound up and went. Dude, the Mohawk. I almost don't want to smack your head. Did you see how fast and quietly that... What the hell is wrong with your shoes? <laughs> How fast and quiet they turned around and came at us. Oh yeah, I forget. You gotta search these guys too. You can get stuff out of them. Like a dead rat, I guess. Cast iron pan is needful because you can actually cook with pans and stuff. Wait, I think leather shoes were good, weren't they? I, I don't remember. Okay, so where to? Where do we want to go? We should probably find a place that we want to call home, too. But another thing, another awesome thing about this is that a lot of the houses that have garages, the garages have functioning garage doors. So you can actually have a house with a garage. See, we've got all these nice, shiny new cars over here. This is a car dealership. Look at that. Tony's... Tony Ganique's used cars. Like, yeah. So we can come get ourselves like a little scoot about too. Oh, I am I am in the door. I am part of the door. Hello, door. I am I am part of the door. <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright, well we gotta loot everything here. Let's go take a peek at this car over here. Look at them. Silent and quick. Like it. And I hate it. <laughs> I like it and I hate it. Oh, that's the trunk. Ah, true to life, though. True to life. 
Oh, this has got diddly in it. All right, whatever. I don't really need a sports car in the zombie apocalypse. Nothing. But it's a good place we could park like the truck. Yeah, nice big garage we could fit in. All right. Uh, cucumber slice, moldy, whiskey. We'll take that. We'll take the whiskey. Let's think of something like one of these little SUVs would be kind of nice, though. Or like an exploring cruise around town kind of vehicle. But first, I think we need to find somewhere to call home. Hey, you doing a tightrope act there? Splat. You got screws. We'll take the screws. I think one of these like blue SUVs would be kind of nice too. All right, so where are we now? We're here. The houses are right here. We could go get a house as a base. And then pillage with the trucks, or do we make like a a big garage back there, our base? But that doesn't have any like cooking, so we'd have to get the RV or something. I want to get to a house. Let's head over to the houses. The house here. I want a house with a garage, though, right? We don't take this. Now that goes up and around. We keep going down this way. Pedal to the metal in the old box truck. Yeehaw! Four-wheeler. Check that out. What is that? Big old house down there? Or is that a store? All right. Here's where I was familiar with. All right. So we got a double garage house right here. Okay. Man, the brakes are atrocious. Don't want it rolling away on me. Surprised it didn't on that last hill we parked it on. They do have a little bit of an issue of loading. Like you get to an area like this, especially if you're using a car and it wasn't doesn't load up in front of you. And then you'll turn around and there'll be like zombies all around you. Like, look at these three. There's one over there now. Like they just pop in later. <laughs> they wait till you're in the area and then they pop in. So I hope they fix that. I hope they load them in ahead of time so you know what you're doing, what you're getting into. And you don't just like walk into an area, turn around, and then you're just surrounded. All right. Lots to search in here. See, we got like a nice, nice house here. Got a bay window, two bay windows and everything. There we go. See, we could cook here and cook waffles. They're a bit stale, but food is food. Got a frozen waffle and a pan. So, uh, let's see. We click up here to food. Frozen waffles. And then item. Would it be here? It was a cast iron pan, wasn't it? Would it be a weapon? Yeah. 
There we go. So we got a pan and ingredients. Um, we turn it on. You can turn it on low, medium, or high. Learned a new recipe. We got a percentage here. All right. So that should be cooked now. Cooked frozen waffles. Nice. Oh, cool. The pan shows up in world. I always appreciate when things like that do that. Very fresh and hot. Hmm. Did that do anything for our satiation? Satiation? Peckish. I'm stressed. I'm still stressed. Well, we're going to get drunk then. My guy stresses out a lot. I need to eat more food, but uh, we do that. We'll take the pan back just in case. So we've got like this nice house. This is kind of what I want to make base. Except for like <laughs> these piles of junk we've got in here. No, I wanted to destroy. There we go. Search and destroy. And now it's all nicely cleaned up. See? Very beautiful. I like that. So I think this will be our, our home for now. And it comes with a truck. So we can just, you know, fire that up. We should have a key for it, right? No, we don't. There's no key in the ignition. We have a Magil... Oh, we have cars and... Do we need like an SUV key? <laughs> but hey, we'll see. We have 29% chance of success. See if we can hotwire it. You hotwire the ignition successfully? Yes. All right. We'll just pull that on into the garage. Pull the brake. Shut it off. And exit. Now we have a truck in our garage. I love it. I'm already in love. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get rid of this tarp. We'll do some cleaning up in here. Uh, I need heavy cutting tool to do this. I wonder if I'll find a heavy cutting tool. Mm, not in that, we won't. Paper bag. Oh, how about this? Nothing in the big toolbox? There's nothing but nuts and bolts in that. Oh, well. Well, hopefully we will. We'll back this in. I think there was a third person view. I'm not sure. Yes. All right. So we'll go ahead and back this up to the old house here. And we're good to go. We're golden, as they would say. So now we've got a major loot truck, a quick scout truck, and a house space. And uh, plenty to loot and explore, but I think we're going to leave this episode here because it's getting long enough. And uh, in the next one, well, hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll work in getting some of this cleaned up so we have a nice, nice looking house to come back to. And then we'll go and we'll continue in town here uh, and just kind of pillage, loot and pillage. Looks like there's a bunch of houses around this way, too, so we'll kind of keep our eyes open if we like one of them better. But yeah, I don't know if it keeps going to another map or what, but we'll uh, definitely explore more of this town. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, and as always, hope that you have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.